Welcome back. The moon partially covered the sun in a solar eclipse this morning. Many San Diegans went to the Science Fleet Center to watch and enjoy the museum afterwards. If you missed it, no problem. ABC 10 News reporter Perla Shaheen shows us what it looked like and explains the next time you can see this phenomenon. San Diegans patiently stared into space at the Fleet Science Center, waiting for the solar eclipse to appear through cloudy skies. I'm still waiting for the ring of fire. I've been out here since uh, I was one of the first ones out here, so. <laughs> it finally peaked out at around 9 a.m. on Saturday. It looks like cheese. It looks like a fingernail. At first, I was kind of annoyed because it was really foggy this morning. Thing, but uh, once, and once it came out, yeah, it was just like a really clear view of the sun. Less than 30 minutes later, hundreds of people could see the climax of sun coverage. The bright spot sparked excitement from the crowd that came to watch. I've always had a fascination for astronomy, stars, moon, sun, all of it. I don't know. I think it's something that's kind of hardwired into everybody, you know, as a human being. It was probably an unexpected, you know, a very fun experience. Very first time. It's my first time seeing something like this. Although it's partially covered, the sun is a lot brighter than you might think. That's why employees ask everyone to wear these special shades to protect their eyes from permanent damage. You're forcing yourself to look at the sun for a little bit longer than you would normally would let yourself. Dr. Lisa Will is an astronomer at the Fleet Science Center. She says Saturday's eclipse showed the moon covering about 30% of the sun. You want to see the sun totally eclipsed? You're going to have to take a vacation from San Diego because that's not going to happen in your lifetime. That's how rare being in the path of totality can be for a certain location. Dr. Will says there will be another partial solar eclipse in San Diego in April, but it won't have as much coverage as this one. Perla Shaheen, ABC 10 News. MTA